Hello, everyone, and welcome to the latest Beatles News Briefs. I'm your host, Steve Marinucci, and this show is dated December 12th, 2018. Let's start with some chart positions from the Billboard issue of December 15th. On the Billboard 200, the White Album is number 43, down from number 33 last week, and Abbey Road is number 127, down from 101. Top Album Sales, White Album is number 11, down from 10. Abbey Road is number 55, down from 42. Catalog Albums, a white album is number 12, down from 6. Abbey Road is number 40, down from number 23. Now pay attention to the top rock albums here because there's quite a few. Let's start with White Album is number 5, up from number 6. Abbey Road is number 18, down from 14. At number 32, up from number 40, is Power to the People, the Hits by John Lennon. At number 38, up from number 49, is McCartney 2 by Paul McCartney. And number 40, down from number 35, is The Beatles 1. Rock Digital Song Sales, number 25, re-entering the charts, is Wonderful Christmas Time. On the Vinyl Sales chart, number 3, same as last week, is Abbey Road. And number 7, up from number 9, is The White Album. On the Artist 100, the Beatles again are number 37. Holiday Airplay, number 16, also number 16 last week is Wonderful Christmas Time. Number 20, up from 21, is Happy Christmas. Holiday Streaming, number 19, down from 16, is Wonderful Christmas Time. Number 21, down from number 19, is Happy Christmas. And Billboard listed their top 50 albums of the year, and Paul McCartney's Egypt Station squeaked in at number 46. We received a note from Chris Carter of Breakfast with the Beatles, which you can hear on Sirius XM and KLOS FM in Los Angeles. Hello, Mr. Carter, who got a note from former Wings drummer Denny Sywell after a recent special show he did on Paul McCartney's Wildlife and Red Rose Speedway albums. It said, Chris, Denny here, Cothole Show, Magic, thanks. They were some great days. I applaud you for your passion for all the music you bring to us. Epic. McCartney set this watch uh, December 6th in Vienna, as he has done before. Junior's Farm and All My Lovin' were taken out in Songs 2 and 3, and Save Us and Can't Buy Me Love were added. And then I Saw Her Standing There was the first song in the encore. In Freshen Up Tour news this week, Paul McCartney added five shows to the U.S. segment of the tour. June 8th in Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. June 14th at Globe Life Park in Arlington, Texas. June 22nd at Petco Park in San Diego. June 10th at SAP Center in San Jose. And July 13th at Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles. And Paul goes home to Liverpool tomorrow on December 12th. More thoughts on the new McCartney remasters. We've been, as I as we said last time, we've been listening to them. We watched the Bruce McMouse TV special and found that quite a nice surprise. I thought maybe the fact that it was tossed in, buried in this rem- in this set, meant it really, you know, it wasn't really that good. But actually, it was. Apparently, according to the book. The reason Paul didn't release it in the first place was because it wasn't Disney. Well, few things are, but actually this stands up very nicely. It's it's very cute. The music is the best part of it. M- most of the music is is live. It's not uh, just studio versions uh, overdubbed onto the soundtrack. And there are some speaking parts for Paul and Linda and the band. So it's it's actually pretty cute. It really was something that should have been released, and maybe he'll release it separately. I will say the Blu-ray version, because it comes in two versions on in the in the set. The Blu-ray version looks incredible. It looks really nice, really sharp. Uh, the DVD version of James Paul McCartney, however, does not, and in that should have been cleaned up a little more. But. In any event, um, on this day in history, December 12, 1963, the Beatles were at number one on the UK singles chart with I Want to Hold Your Hand. Uh, and on December 12, 1965, Rubber Soul started a 42-week run on the UK album chart. Happy birthday to December 12th to none other than Frank Sinatra, who was born in 1915 and who called George Harrison something the best love song ever written. He covered it many times in his concerts. And also, happy birthday on December 12th to the late, great Mike Smith of the Dave Clark Five. 
You can catch our shows on fab4radio.com or iTunes, Google Play, or wherever you get your podcasts. Please join our Beatles News and Information group on Facebook for the latest in the Beatles world. And check out our That's What I Want Beatles store page on Facebook for gift ideas for yourself or for your favorite people. Look for our next show and please subscribe. And we would really, really appreciate getting rated on iTunes and on YouTube and wherever you get your podcasts. Please, we would really, really appreciate that. Thanks for listening. Until next time, this is Steve Marinucci saying... Be seeing you. that one market fab